a lot of people these days are very, very, very materialistic, egotistical, and prideful. In the last days, as it says in the Bible, people will become very self-centered and obsessed with themselves. Nowadays, it is very rare that you meet a genuinely authentic, loving person. A person who is not boastful about all of their achievements. Someone who's not bragging about how much money they make. Someone who's not bragging about the car that they drive or all the achievements that they had. Someone who's not flexing their muscles 24 seven, right? And worst of all, you have the so-called strong people, the people that are very mentally strong and they've developed themselves spiritually. And what do some people do? They put others down. The people that are weaker than them, they put them down and they belittle them. And I used to be one of these people, one of these people that were getting on people, calling people weak and soft and feminine because that's the way they are, right? But you want to know the problem with, with strong people making fun of weak people. It is a terrible example of character. It shows you have very little character. The strong people need to be helping the weaker people. That is the point of becoming stronger is to help those who are behind you. Even if it's somebody that is just one step behind you, you are obligated to help that person. You should be helping that person because the person that was one step in front of you helped you. So you should show that other person some help. That is the godly, Jesus-like thing to do. Though I see a lot of people going around here bragging and being prideful and egotistical and see very few people these days are empathetic to, to someone else's problems or their issues. It is sad in these days because men these days really lack brotherhood. They lack a strong community, a support group, because whenever men, usually whenever a strong man or a masculine man tries to talk about his problems, talk about his feelings, emotions, what happens? He gets labeled as weak, feminine, soft. He gets labeled all these things that he's not. It is seen as weak to have problems or to speak about them. The strong people need to be helping the weaker people, the people with less life experience. Because if you don't help the person beside you who's struggling, you are no better than the person who's bullying him or making him, if you just watch somebody suffer and you're not doing anything to help, that doesn't make you much of a strong person either. People these days are very selfish, are very, very selfish. So the message of this video is find people, be willing to have people in your life that are going to be there for you. People that are going to love you for you, love you for who you are and be able to stay with you, be loyal enough to stay by your side when things don't go well. Because it's very easy for anybody to stay by anybody's side when everything is going great. It's easy to be someone's friend when they are happy. But it is very difficult to be someone's friend when they're going through something. 
when they have a lot going on in their life. And quite frankly, that is when they need you the most. That is when you are the most valuable, when you are able to be, be there for someone, even in their darkest days. Because truth is, everyone has this weird expectation of life that every single day is going to be happy and you're going to live every single day in joy, which is further from the truth. It can't be further from the truth. You're going to have dark days and you are going to struggle sometimes, but you have to have a positive mindset. You have to have a positive mindset and be able to move forward. And instead of dwelling and complaining about an issue, we think to solve it. And I used to be here myself when I had several issues going on in my life. And instead of trying to solve the issue, I was dwelling in it, complaining, drinking alcohol, allowing my emotions to take control of me. But now I've grown past that. And I've learned to solve my issues. And if you stay positive, you're going to notice that those emotions that you feel, they're going to fade. They are going to fade away. Today, I felt very depressed, very unhappy. I had thoughts going through my head about, hmm, I, maybe I should get drunk. I want to, you know what I'm saying, do things I shouldn't be doing, bad habits. But instead, I just said, you know what, I'm going to go to the gym. And I was doing leg day today. And it was a, it was a really tough workout, but I, I really, I'm really glad that I did that. Moral of the story. Have people around you, true, genuine, authentic people around you, friends, family, relationships. If they're not true, they're not authentic, they're not honest with you, if they don't want to see you win, then it's time to cut ties. Stay away from prideful, boastful, arrogant, egotistical people because they will do nothing but hate on you when you become successful. Be careful who you let into your life because the people that you let into your life will strongly determine your future. You are just like the five people you hang around most. And if they are egotistical, arrogant, you will become the same. Do not come, do not become like the rest of this world, which is 90 to 80% of people who are very prideful and materialistic. Make sure you take care of yourself. Pray, meditate every single morning and journal, read a book, learn a new skill, go out there and live your best life and do something that you are passionate about and has deeper meaning. It gives you very deep meaning to your life. Instead of doing things for the money, do things for your personal, your, not personal, but your fulfillment, your God-given pur purpose. And money will come as a result of that. My name is Raheem the Goat. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and never give up. Your younger self is rooting for you. I know this video is kind of all over the place, but hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.